Welcome back, this is video number two, and in this particular video, we will talk about why you must have one-time offers. The purpose of this video is kind of to set the tone and to kind of get you into this headspace. So I really want you to think about this. Have you ever thought about how much one-time offers can really make a difference? We're talking about the one-time offers that are only revealed after you purchase a product. We're not talking about the McDonald's bump sale as as we call it where they say would you like fries with that or would you like to basically make it bigger we're talking about the one-time offers that people only see after they have said i trust you i've whipped out my wallet and i bought the front end offer so these are going to be a lot more high converting or have you just accepted because some other marketer or somebody else told you that they work? So really what we're trying to do here is dissect them, all right? Once you have a better understanding of them, it just makes it easier. Now, it's oftentimes good to look at whys, different angles, so you understand how to pinpoint the weaknesses in your funnel. So even if your funnel is converting, there's always room for improvement. And that is the mindset that is going to get you far. So if you can kind of get into that headspace, then you're going to do wonders for your funnel. Now, when we did tests back in the day, we found that just adding, you know, an extra one or two one time offer can literally triple your sales if done right. If you follow this blueprint and you're making, let's say, a couple grand, you could potentially double that or triple that just by adding a one-time offer. Now, obviously there's no guarantee, but that's just something that we have found personally within our own tests and with our own experience. So not having a one-time offer actually makes you rely solely on the front end offer and what happens to your mindset is this what ends up happening is that you are solely focused on the initial customer acquisition that you totally forget about your existing customers who have already proven themselves to want more from you as long as you are you know providing good quality of course they're going to want to buy more from you assuming that you have solved your promise initially now that you think about that, how many one-time offers do you really need? Well, that depends on the problem that you're trying to solve. In other words, maybe instead of asking that question, you should ask, how much does it take? How many one-time offers does it take to help your customers solve their problems? Does it take one? Does it take two? Does it take three? Or does it take four? Now, of course, you don't want to get too many, or of course, that will just annoy the customer and anger them. So you want to do it in moderation and enough that will actually help solve their problems. Now, some customers may want a few one-time offers, such as they might want to do it themselves, and then some customers might want to have you do it for them, and they're willing to pay more money to do that. So I want you to get kind of in that headspace and mindset. It's just going to make things easier in building out your whole funnel. All right, with that said, let's move on to the next video.